know it's been a couple weeks. Really haven't been outside much. Like I said in the last video, I was having some vehicular problems, which finally got taken care of, and I picked my vehicle up. So I got wheels again as of last night. Um, we've also been having some kind of crappy weather here. We've been having some pretty high winds and some chilly temperatures. I, uh, <clears throat> I did pick up a tripod for my phone, which right now is the only camera I have to make these videos. And I went out and did a test today. And without even putting the phone on it, the tripod kept getting blown over. Now I already do have a solution for this. I've had a remedy for something like this that I've thought about for a while watching people's cameras blow over. If you take a piece of paracord and you tie it around the top part where the first extension starts and then use a couple of tent stakes, that should stabilize it. Just a tip. I don't know if anybody's ever brought that up before, but that's what I'm thinking to do. Um, also, for Christmas, my wife got me a new PC. So I've been really working on uh, getting a lot of stuff brought over libraries for the, the CG stuff that I do as a hobby, creating 3D renders of people and stuff like that. So, yeah, it, it, it's been busy, just I haven't been outside. I haven't had the means to get outside. Um, also, with the new PC, I had to download some, some video editing software. My old PC, Windows Movie Maker did fine for me. But on the new PC, it's Windows 10, and I really wasn't a fan of the Windows 10's Movie Maker. It just didn't seem to have a lot of options unless you bought it. So I got a free one, and uh, unfortunately it doesn't like the quality after some tests that my phone does out. So I'm going to have to bear with it for a while until I can get a new camera. But with us being on a very tight budget, the new camera is going to have to stay within 50, 60, so... I'm leaning, a, I'm leaning toward Vivitar. If any of you guys have a better option for a new camera than a Vivitar, <clears throat> leave a comment down below and I'll check into it. And I appreciate it if you, if you try to help me out. Um, yeah, going back on our wind. <laughs> Even today when I was out there, um, the, the temperature was reading at like 21, 22, but with the wind sustainable between 15 and 20, and then gusts up to 30 to 35, which has been the norm. The other day it was gusts up to 50 for a while, and 15 pound garbage cans were flying around driveways and stuff. So, um, yeah, it's. It was really only like three degrees. It was a cold, cold day to do a test. <laughs> and that was just back here behind my house, up on the top of mountains or something. I imagine it was probably even worse. So, uh, also, what's been going on is, uh, managed to pick this little deal up for 15 bucks. H.S. Strut's a pretty good call company. It's got a nice glass pot call in there and uh, Rosewood Striker mouth call and uh, nice little crow call. And by the way, since this is a beer and a chat, there you go. And what I'm having is Voodoo Ranger. Sorry, this is actually take two, so you didn't get to see me pop the top. So, again, cheers. So, yeah, I have had this open because I have been practicing with the glass pot. And I'm struggling a little bit <clears throat> to get my angles right 
and also working on my cadence because it's a lot higher pitch than my old sleet call which I'll show you in a moment. This yeah. I've never ever cared for those things ever since I was a teenager. Anytime I put one of those things in my mouth and tried to use it, I puked. And my idea of a good hunt is not puking. So let's give a little try here with this glass call. And I'm not the best turkey caller, and I do need a lot of practice with this. Like I said, a lot of practice. My old calls were this old owl can hooter. And this really old Quaker Boy slate with just a resin striker. I like the cadence better, and like I said, I'm not the greatest turkey caller in the world. So, that's that's what's been going on for the last couple weeks and uh, I also want to make another mention on something I've subscribed to a lot of the bushcraft community's channels <clears throat> and the weird thing is is I make posts I mean I've subscribed I like their videos I make a post and it doesn't show up it shows up if I'm logged in and I'm looking like at my channel and then I go and view but if I'm not logged in and I go to their channel I don't see my comments anywhere so I don't know what the deal is with that and I don't know if it's a YouTube glitch or what but it's kind of frustrating so yeah that's what's been going on still got a lot of lot of season left to hunt and uh, yeah cheers and hope you all have a great holiday all of them Thanks for watching.